What's up guys, it's Max from Muscle World. I've had a question on how to improve calf size and train calves and make them bigger. Before I start, I just want you to think about the fundamentals of the exercises. Every exercise we're going to do is going to involve the car or the foot doing that, that sort of movement there. Um, when you're doing this one, I just want you to think about the following principles. When you're stretching, I want you to sort of control it down slowly under control and get to the point where you're feeling the stretch in your calf. Hold it there for about a second, don't bounce up, hold it there for about a second. After that, then drive up controlled until you're fully, um, you're fully extended and you can feel a good contraction. Squeeze your calves at that point, again for about a second, and then slowly lower down into that stretch again and hold it. So every repetition should be like that. Um, apart from the one exercise I'm going to show you today where you, you don't really get that stretch position, so you're focusing more on just getting a good contra contraction at the very the top of the movement, which um, I'll show you at the end. Uh, so you've got plenty of machines in the gym. Well, actually, I find most gyms do tend to neglect the car machines. Um, so what I'm going to show you uh, a donkey calf raise that could be done when you haven't got a donkey calf machine because most gyms I've been to haven't actually got one. So the variation I'm going to show you is one you can do at home with a resistance band and I'm going to do it here with a resistance band um, with, a, with a small resistance band and I'm going to do it with one leg uh, to, just to increase the, the sort of the, the work being done. That's another thing I would advise you to do as well is you can do these exercises one leg at a time so you can really focus on that one with that one calf. Um, with regards to the donkey calf machine as well, if you're not lucky enough to have one in your gym but you've got access to a Smith machine, you can do a very a similar setup to what I'm going to show you here, but obviously using the bar uh, instead of the resistance band. With your exercise selection then, I would pick two exercises, two different exercises. Uh, so you say you could have a seated calf raise for exercise number one, and then exercise number two could be the standing calf raise or vice versa. Alternatively, you could do the, the donkey calf raise and then go into the seated calf raise. Your rep range I'd be looking for would be 8 to 20 repetitions. So I would play about the rep ranges a little bit, so phase them, phase them through to a few weeks on, uh, on a lighter uh, weight, higher repetitions and so forth. Or you could break down your sessions so you could have a heavier day earlier on in the week. And then later on in the week, you could reduce the rep ranges and sorry, increase the rep ranges and reduce the weight. I would look to train them three or four times a week if you're particularly looking to, to build them if they're a weaker area, like most of most of us are, they are. And I would ideally have each repetition last around four seconds, so that would make your actual set itself take anywhere from about sort of 40 seconds to a minute or maybe even a little bit longer. Um, with regards to rest, I would have a maximum of one minute rest between sets. Now if you're doing them in unilaterally, you're taking up training one leg at a time, then naturally the rest for say your right leg will be when your left leg is working. So as soon as you finish training your left leg, go straight back into your right leg. Don't hang around in between, I go bang, 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 straight in between the repetitions. Mm -hmm.